How can you keep your hair moisturized? Please, allow me to show you something. Hello, welcome back to this training well. If you're new, welcome to this training well. And today, your study title, we're going to be talking about low porosity hair and how to show your low porosity hair love being... How can you keep your hair moisturized? So in my video before, if you didn't see it, I'll link it below. I spoke about low porosity hair and how you can test to determine your hair porosity. Now I determined that I have low porosity hair, so my focus will mainly be on low porosity hair. So no matter how you found out your or which test you did to find out your hair porosity, because there are different tests you could do and there are telling signs of the hair porosity that you may have. So once you find out your hair porosity is low porosity um these tips will be applicable for you you can check out my video i did previously if you want it more in depth but basically if you have low porosity here it means that it's difficult for moisture to get into the cuticles of your hair as well as retain that moisture so with low porosity here your main focus would be on getting your hair to absorb the moisture um, that you put in to your hair right so for one, uh, we can start with conditioners, well, shampoo and conditioner. With low porosity here, you tend to have a lot of products build up because when you put products in your hair, because your hair is not absorbing it, you see, you tend to see a lot of build up. So sometimes when you put products on your hair, you notice like it doesn't absorb one time. So there's, it's just on your hair, right? So with that, um, you would need to clarify your hair to clear off the debris so your hair is fresh and clean to receive whatever whatever products you want to put in your hair. So for that, it is recommended that you use a clarifying shampoo to remove all that product buildup and debris. I also try to use a sulfate free shampoo right um in this video i wouldn't necessarily be going over the products in another video i'll probably go over the products that i use but this video is mainly the tips or the techniques now as it goes to the conditioners because again it's difficult for your hair to retain moisture it is recommended to do deep conditioning treatments now also what to look out for with conditioners is to ensure that there is not too much protein because your hair is protein sensitive and your hair doesn't need any more protein because it's already strong, it doesn't need any more strength. More strength is kind of going to make it brittle and dry. I learned my lesson with the ORS hair miners, which everyone found was a staple, but mm -mm, low porosity and hair miners is a no, there's too much protein. So for your conditioners, you want to have a deep conditioning shampoo and look at the ingredients yeah um so even like if it has protein look for protein that says hydrolyzed protein um even like rice protein or even keratin protein is not that bad so those things are fine to work with next um there is something called humectant what the hell is a humectant? It's kind of like it takes moisture from the air, so it absorbs moisture from the air and pulls it and attracts it. So products that you use, you would want to make, you would want to see that it has humectants in it. Um, one such humectant is glycerin. So once a product has glycerin in it, it kind of helps like take moisture from the air and you know pull it into your hair. So glycerin in your products is a good ingredient to look for, as well as Honey, I'm not sure if honey is a humectant, but it helps with your hair and retaining moisture. Another tip is using heat when you deep condition your hair. Now, you hear people talking about heat damage, la 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 la, but for this, just as when you go to the um, spa and they want to extract blackheads from your face or whiteheads and they put steam over your face to open your pores so they can get that dirt out that is how it works for low porosity hair because your hair um, cuticles are so tight once you apply heat to the hair it opens the cuticles and allows moisture to go in so for that if you're doing your deep conditioning treatment you can use like a hooded dryer 
um, not everyone may have that it has the bonnet caps um, there's also the hair dryer attachment thing or um, for me I don't have it well I have a hood dryer but I just find it's too much work to take it out so, ugh, whatever I don't use it I cover my head with a shower cap and in my last Pennywise haul I purchased um, it's like a shower cap but it's supposed to maintain more heat um, whatever line and it has in it so I purchased that to try it out so that generates a natural heat and when you have the deep conditioner in your hair your cuticles open and absorbs that um, moisture that it needs and the last tip I have is to ensure to seal in the moisture so I know you probably feel it's not the first time going on your hair care journey you probably heard about you know um, moisturizing your hair and then sealing with an oil and that is important for low porosity hair to seal in the moisture however you do not want to use too like heavy products on your hair so um, I would just give these tips I said I wasn't mentioning products but for low porosity hair like you have coconut oil argan oil but those oils are kind of heavy and for me personally I would use coconut oil like if I'm not going anywhere and I know I'm going to wash my hair that particular weekend because coconut oil gives a kind of smell after a while right so I don't really like to use coconut oil like every day kind of thing but anyway you want to use light weight oils on your hair if you have a low porosity hair and light weight oils um, one such oil is like grapeseed oil jojoba oil um, yeah grapeseed jojoba and you have the sweet almond oil right are some of some lightweight oils you can use to seal in the moisture once you use products for your hair when choosing products for low porosity hair you don't want heavy products on your hair so like oil based moisturizers are too heavy but it's a bit difficult to find water based moisturizers but I actually found one I'll share it in a video I think I mentioned it before anyway uh, but I'll share that you want to use yeah lightweight products right if you find a product is too heavy you can add some water to make it a little more light so once you see the consistency of different products it kind of helps you determine if it may be too heavy for your hair or if it's just right so those are basically my tips that I found from research and from experience because there were certain things I noticed my hair responded better to but now having an understanding of why it makes it so much easier and better like you know when I'm choosing products right because every time I go in Pennywise I'm lost as to what to choose so I hope this video is helpful for you um, so you can have a better process you know narrowing down products that might suit your hair type your hair porosity for to better um, help you with your hair care journey so guys thanks for watching and look out for the next well it might necessarily be the next video I post after this but look out for the video where I look out for the video where well turn on your post notifications so you would know when I post my other video talking about the products that works for me for low porosity hair and even some of the products that I want to try for my low porosity hair so guys thanks for watching if you're not yet subscribed you can go ahead and subscribe you can like this video if you learned anything if anything you knew before um, how your hair reacts to certain things but yes so be on this journey and again I'm relaxed if you want to see natural hair care, check out these, the art of Fran, who is low porosity and she has natural hair and she will be going on her hair care journey. So for some tips about how she, the products she may have tried, what's working for her with her low, low porosity hair, you can check her out. I'll link her channel below, link it in here as well. And there's also I Crave Sean's Shauna. She is not on YouTube but she does post content on Instagram so I'll also link her Instagram below if you're interested in checking her out for low porosity hair care and I'll probably tag any other youtubers I found with low porosity relaxed hair that I probably looked at their video I can't really remember any offhand 
So anyway, bye. <laughs> and keep your hair. Guys, listen. I can touch with a better time to film this video. These political campaign trucks. Mm, I feel like you're here in the background noise.